welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. Um, it's been very popular. I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers doing it, so I figured I'd go on ahead and do it today for you guys. Um, if you are new here, thank you for being here and welcome to the corner. Um, this is going to be my fifth video for you guys. And I'm currently working on my first reading vlog for the summer I turned pretty. So I'm going to go on ahead and get you guys get started on the mid-year freakout tag with question number one. Best book you've read so far in 23? I'm going to say that's All That's Left in the World by Eric J. Brown. I thought it was a really good book. It was, it's a male-male romance. It's about an apocalypse. Um, that happens. Um, they're on their journey from, I want to say, Pennsylvania to Florida, and they meet a lady halfway through, and they are also looking for her daughter that is possibly in Florida. It kind of gives off, um, it's not like zombies or anything, but I believe there's like a plague that's going on that's killing people, and so basically it's the world's gone chaotic. Um, but it was a really good book. It was interesting. I loved the characters. I loved the author's writing in the book. And so that's, so I would definitely recommend reading it. I, I could potentially seeing this become a movie or a TV series. Um, he is also working on a sequel to this book because they're going to be making a journey back. Um, somewhere so I don't want to give out too much more um, but if you like a post-apocalyptic movie or book sorry um, then I think this would be a good read for you uh, the next question is best sequel you've read so far in 23 um, I'm gonna say what if it's us trilogy by Becky Albert Tolly um, I, I thought it was a really good series. Again, it was a male-male romance. Um, I've never read this series, but I had heard really great things about it, um, especially if you love New York. Um, I think there's also, like, drops of Taylor Swift in there. Um, so definitely, if you're a Swifty, then you'll definitely like the book. Um, they, um, two boys meet. Um, one is from New York, one is from Georgia and the the guy from georgia his mom goes every summer um, to work at the company that that is in new york and he ends up meeting um this you know a local and falls in love and both both books were great i definitely recommend reading it um i finally was glad that i got a chance to read it the next question is new release you haven't read yet but want to. Uh, the Popular Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. Um, I've heard wonderful things about this book. It's actually being turned into a movie adaptation on, I want to say it's Apple TV Plus, which they, they have, you know, they have great shows already. There is, um, I forget the title of it, but there is a um, a show that was a book that's now turned into a show. So I haven't watched it, but I definitely am going to after I read the book. Uh, the next question is most anticipated re release for the second half of the year. So I put Heartstopper Volume 5 by Alice Oseman. It's not coming out till later, till like, base, I think it was December 5th or something like that. Um, when I heard pre-orders were were ready, I like ran to my computer and pre-ordered my copy. I actually did not read this until I until after I had watched the the series on Netflix. It is such a cute show. I just I love the 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 romance blossom between between Nick and Charlie. I just, it was just, it's such an adorable show. Obviously everyone's heard of it by now. So I, I definitely recommend reading it, the graphic novels, and then watching the show. I think I probably watched this show 
I probably lost count after 30 times. I've watched it that much. The books were so hard to find, and I was so happy that I found them. I had to order from multiple um, bookstores to be able to get my hands on them, but I did not want to have that issue with Volume 5, so I am excited for that. And I will probably do a Heartstopper vlog when the fifth book comes out. I'm just kind of thinking ahead there. Um, the next question is biggest disappointment. So like I said in my second or my, my last video, I wasn't – so I, I'm not – I'm not saying I don't like – Alexis Haw, but um, Something Fabulous and Paris Delancourt is about to crumble by her. I just, I could not get in them. I just don't know if it's her writing. I mean, I just, I, I just couldn't. Um, I, I know she's a British author, so they have, obviously they have a different style of writing probably, um, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, but I just, I really couldn't get into it and I wanted to like, especially Paris Dallincourt is about to crumble. I wanted to like that, but I just, I, I kept hearing so many good things, but I just couldn't get into it. I just, I think it was the characters for that one and for, um, something fabulous. I think to me, it was the writing that I couldn't get into. Um, I have three other books by hers that I'm going to give a chance, give another chance and read those. Um, so hopefully she, you know, surprises me in those three. Um, the next question is biggest surprise. I put a man called Ove by Frederick Backman. I watched the movie because there was so much hype about it. Now, I forget where the book was originate, originated, where it was written, um, but the, the movie was so good. I'm a huge Tom Hanks fan. I think he is a great actor in any role that he does. Um, it, it, it touched base on some heavy topics um, along the lines of suicide, and whatnot, um, and and that's something that, you know, for me, it's that's something that I have struggled with when I was younger, growing up, was you know thoughts of suicide, and you know I'm getting deep here with y'all on something like that because I don't tell many people about that, and you know growing up in Texas. I, you know, it's not a very accepting state when you're gay. And, you know, not everyone is not accepting. But in my town, I was I was bullied a lot, and I hated it. And sometimes I had thoughts of doing it. And so for me, this book really touched me. And I didn't think, I try not to, you know, read books about suicide and I ne definitely read the trigger warnings before I did, but I had heard so many great things about it. And so I definitely wanted to watch it. Um, so I would definitely recommend reading it and watching the movie. I know some people did not actually like the movie. They preferred the book, which I kind of liked both. Um, I felt like they were the book was very well written. And the, the movie was very good, too. I, Tom Hanks was... A phenomenal actor in that. Um, the next question is favorite new author, Jason June. Um, I have never read his books, but I read Jay's Gay Agenda by him, and I thought that was a wonderful book. I love the storyline. I love the characters. Um, I, I feel like if, if a character could describe me in a book, it would be Jay. I, I just, I loved his character in that, and I I loved loved this book and I would highly recommend reading it. Um, newest 
fictional crush, I put Hunter from Don't Date a Dilf by DJ Jameson. Uh, That was a really good smut book. And Hunter is the sexy, muscular, tatted, hot dad. And I just, the sex scenes in that were really good. Like, very good. Uh, So definitely read that one. And the next question is newest favorite character. Jay from Jay's Gay Agenda by Jason June. I just, I loved, I loved that character. I thought it, the character was cute. And like I said, it describes me, his character describes me pretty well. So definitely read, read that book. Um, a book that made you cry. Um, so I'm cheating. I actually didn't read this one this year. I read it last year. Um, I discovered um, this author. Um, his name is Jordan Green. I had never read anything by him. He has four books out that I read. He has more than that, but I read this these four books. It's part of the Noahverse series. Um, the book was called A Mark on My Soul. Um, it, it was very good. I loved his style of writing. It was so easy to read. It, it's about two high schoolers, um, falling in love and one boy, the family's accepting the other one, not so much. Um, it definitely did not end on a very positive note. It how, there are trigger warnings. There, there is suicide at the end. Um, I read this book. I, I finished it at midnight, and I am. I was just bawling my eyes out. I'm surprised I didn't wake my husband up, who was sleeping right next to me. Um, it was a very, very sad ending. Um, so, it. But it was definitely worth a read. But just know that there are trigger warnings in that book um for sure um a book that made you happy i put out of touch by michael sarai so this book is actually not out yet um i received an art copy in march and read this reviewed it on my instagram um i will definitely do a separate video for this um when it gets closer to release date um so it has so that way this book has its own spotlight Again, it's another Mel Mel romance. I loved it. I thought this was great writing as well. It was very easy to read. Um, I had never read anything by him, by Michael Sarai, and I thought I thought it was really good. I actually loved it so much that to support him, I wanted to buy the physical copy, so I pre-ordered it. And so I can't wait to get my physical copy. The cover is... The cover is beautiful. I'm a sucker for a good cover, and that one is really good. The next question is most beautiful book you bought this year. So I I recently just um, became known about this author. Her name is Emma Bennett. Um, Her perfect hero. I loved the cover of her book. It was beautiful. It's very fall vibes. Um, and it just, when I read it, it just, I felt like I was in the fall, even though it's over 100 degrees here. Um, it was a great read. I loved the cover. It was just so cute. And the other color, the covers for the book in the series are really, really nice. I love them. And then the last question is, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? So my goal is to read A a Court of Thorns and Roses, Lessons in Chemistry, Fourth Wing, when I'm able to get my hands on a copy of the book, and Icebreaker. I've heard great things about all of these books, so I definitely want to read these by the end of the year. So that was my mid-year book freak out tag. Um... If you haven't done it yet and you're a booktuber, I definitely recommend it. I thought it was pretty fun. This is obviously my first one, my first time doing it. 
So I was excited to do that. So I also want to, um, so my goal for the year um, on Goodreads was 100 books to read. I've already read 45 books this year so far. So I definitely know I will meet my goal. Um, last year, my goal was 75 or 50 books. I read 75 books. Um, I don't think, um, I think it's fun to read. I love reading, so I don't think next year I'm going to put a goal on myself. I feel like whatever I read, I read. Um, same with TBRs. I don't know about y'all, but I always create a TBR, and I never read. I probably read, like, maybe one or two books from that TBR. And so I feel like I just want to read what I want to read and and then, you know, do my, you know, you know wrap up my monthly wrap up videos for y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and like i said if you haven't done the mid-year book freak out tag go on ahead and do it and i hope you have fun with it thank you for watching have a great rest of your day bye